Hello, and welcome back to another episode of System Shock 2. It is I, Brazen Braden, and uh, we are, I feel, almost finished uh, with System Shock 2 actually. Uh, we are currently at the second station in the tram, or uh, by the tram, and we have to get through this room which has a force field which is preventing us to go through. So obviously, there is something blocking our way, some device is creating this force field, so uh, I guess we have to go find what it is and uh, disable it. So let's, we'll pop in the tram because there's nothing in this room here and head on over to control because that sounds like a, a good place to have uh, a device that might be blocking our access there. Oh, for five snakes. Is it necessary? Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Oh, they're horrible. Oh, it's horrible. Oh. Oh. The noises they make are just. Oh, okay. Loading. Right, um, I guess the best place to go is up into the bridge and uh, see what's see what's up there for us. Uh, the rest is also officers' rooms and and and, and boring boring things. So our best bet is probably all the way upstairs here. Okay, the command deck. Check it out. Oh, hello. What the hell is that thing? That's not doing any damage. Neither is that. Oh, neither is that. Um, uh, what, what shall we try? Whoa. Oh, bastard. Gosh, what was that thing? It's the first time I've seen one of those. Oof. Even though it's near the end, they have to come in and introduce new new monsters for us to, to deal with. I mean, it's really necessary. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh. Asai Reaver Brain Structure. What the hell is that? It's got a... That left us a PDA. Uh, okay. Um. Is that just a bit of Gibbs? Nothing useful there. Okay, dropped us a PDA. So let's have a, a quick look and have a well listen rather and see what this PDA was all about. Suarez and his crew want to escape. I do not understand. They get Athent and Lyrica, and they bite the hand. The many have shared this wisdom. They shall not leave the ship. Okay. Uh, this this thing up here actually looks like that floating... Uh, gosh, what do you call them? They actually look like something out of Half-Life. Those, uh, those floating brains, were they? Um... Yeah, but anyway, okay, well, I don't see much else up here. Uh, there was that, that strange thing, but otherwise, it's all pretty empty. And someone is laughing in the background. Are these the things, I assume these are things that sort of regenerate and they, they reappear. Uh, that was mentioned in a... In a PD, a PDA. Oh, it's back. What do you mean ammunition drained? I refuse. There we go. Come here, you horrible floating brain. Oh, there you've dropped something. Unresearched object. Um, okay, we need RA to, to 
complete the research on that one. Um, maybe we'll make our way to a chemical storm at some point, depending on where this game is taking us. But there is not much up there. Uh, there is not much up there. But um, maybe, maybe those things, maybe those things are controlling it. Uh, the Hi force there. field. Please make your selection. I've heard this recycler choosing value wrap. is a very good thing to have. Drag to a junk object to convert it to nanites. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. So that we can take this. This well, um, actually, they're both a rumbler organ. Let's let's take that. Drop that in. That's not working. Doesn't like the organs. Uh, just for interest sake, let's let's take let's take one of these guns. Let's take the forty-two. No, maybe this way. I don't understand. Drag to a junk object to convert it to nanites. Maybe this is not a junk object. Maybe it needs to be broken or jammed. I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll keep it anyway. Maybe we'll find a use for it. Okay, but uh, otherwise there's not... Oh. Uh, maybe we can just get away from it quickly enough. Horrible thing. They keep they keep spawning. Oh, they'd rather give me hybrids or ninjas or midwives. These sp spiders are not. Oh, hello. It is open. I am pleased. Transmitting cybernetic modules. Do not squander them. Okay, although I don't know how much we're going to be able to use them. But uh, let's listen to this PDA. Worms and guns. A worm crawled up my arm and rested on my neck. When he whispered into my ear, I felt a tingle. He told me how to make a weapon that would help us against our enemies. And here's the thing. It's made of worms. It even fires worms. But it stings like you wouldn't believe. Oh, interesting. That must be another one of those exotic type weapons. Okay, so up we go into the unknown. Here we go. Oh. Loading screen. Whoa. Okay. Uh, on some sort of upper deck, looks like. Uh, restricted area, no admittance. Do not want to go down. They should have railings around there or something. A little gate. Oh. Oh, you bastard. The Von Braun. But before we can separate the Rickenbacker, we must remove the foul black eggs. The man. The many has, has vomited on the deck. These eggs, these eggs are an experiment of the many. And will in time spawn the next generation of 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 analid, which you will have no hope of destroying. Destroying. Steal yourself for a struggle, human. They fear you, for you are my avatar. Okay, we have to destroy eggs uh, from a hybrid uh, sort of. Oh, oh no. Oh look, I can't see us. Another one. Oh, I've got uh, I've got something on my head. There we are. Wearing that turret as a hat. Oh, that must be those freaky egg-looking things. Um, can I can I shoot it? Power uh, right. Let's just get up here. 
Hopefully that doesn't break open and spawn something completely unkillable, like uh, like it suggests. Uh, like Shodan, I, I I think she she suggested. Um, nope. Ammunition drain. Good. You have destroyed the first of the eggs. First. But there are fifteen left. Fifteen. Find them. My gosh. Okay. Um. I don't have enough bullets for this. But I found another one. That's armor piercing. Oh, standard. Here we go. I should have just shot the container, shouldn't I? We've got a little room up there before we go running off too far. Let's see what we got. Repair software upgraded to version 3. And a, another PDA. Okay, so there's some sort of like lookout control room. Uh, let's listen to what we've got here. Whoops. Hello. Okay, we've got two. We arrived planet side via the shuttle on June 15th at 0800 hours. Kerenchkin was the first one out the door, never even bothering to do a level B hazard suit exam. Not wanting to let that little tryup suit get a head start, Diego went right after him. I thought it was crazy. Sending the senior officers of the Rickenbacker down to the surface of an uncharted body. But both those idiots were going to get all the glory for the UNN and try out they could. Damn. Time for inspection. More later. So the Rickenbacker must be this, uh, this ship that came to, I guess, inspect what was going on here on this, on this, uh, on the Von Braun. The eggs were lying in a semicircle in the middle of what looked like a crash crater. There were hundreds of those things. Hundreds. As we got closer, you could hear them. Not the eggs, the things inside them. It was like music. I was scared out of my mind. But that music, all I wanted to do was see those things up close, find out their secrets. Which I think would probably be a bad idea, seeing as in the past, eggs have ruptured and spewed out worms and flying goodies whenever you get close. So I think distance is, is a good thing. Okay, here we've got this be a piece of glass. Because I can see more eggs in there. And I can hear what sounds like a brute. Um, excuse me. How. How do I get in? What's this? A gravic? The gravitic crane mechanism. Okay. Um. Right. Uh. So how do we get through there? Uh, unless we we get rid of this. Oops. Get rid of this thing. Uh. What is this? Security control. Bulkhead containment. No. No. Nothing we can do with that. Is there a button we missed? Something to open up. Something or other. Oh. Of course, look at that. Oh, fantastic. Okay, don't tell me you can climb stairs. No, you cannot. Okay, we need a good a good weapon against him. Armor piercing would not cut it. Slugs, slugs would would do a little bit of work for us. Ah, oof. But now I can't see him. This is going to be annoying. Um, I guess I jump up there. Right, here we go. Oh. Okay. Whoop. 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 Where, where is he now? Hello? Where'd he go? I can hear him, but I cannot see him. Man, the slugs are not doing anything. And we've got a... got a droid. 
She needs to be taken care of. Okay, one down. Hmm. Um. I don't know what to use against him. My my bullets are are useless. I need I need anti personnel rounds. Pellets. Oh, that's a bit better. Down you go, big boy. Okay, carrying nothing of note. Oh, another one. Um, this one would do it. They're rather strange these things. They don't. They don't do all that much. So just charge at you. Oh, bump, camera. Should have known. Okay, we do have some normal bullets back again. Okay, um, just in case we got more of those big guys. Soldier, this is Captain William Diego. There isn't much time, so you must listen. Hmm. I have the unique advantage of seeing this whole situation from every imaginable perspective. Until recently, I was a pawn of those vile and disgusting creatures, those corruptors of mind and body. I've managed to cleanse myself of their putrescence, but I've been severely compromised in the process. I'm in the sick bay on the foredeck of the Riggenbacher. I would come to you if I could, but that's an impossibility. You'll understand when we meet. Now get to it. And soldier, stay alive. Right, someone's still alive. Diego's still alive. And he says the foredeck of the Riggenbacher. Now how big is this ship? Weapons upgrade. No, we want to do uh, maintenance. Um, there's a ninja up there. I don't know if I'll be able to hit him from here. There he goes. And. Okay, um. Surgical activation. Key picked up. I hear spiders. A horrible spider somewhere. Um, what's over here? I think that does go downstairs. Oh, there they are. Oh. Can we hack this? Without anything coming and biting us? Yes! Part 2 Um <laughs> Right, here comes our spider friend Oh, don't you jump at me You evil Spawn of Satan Ow. Ow. You did your bastard. Honestly. Toxing us up. Toxing. That's not a word, is it? Intoxicating us. Uh, I hope that was all of them. Okay, I see another. This was caused by an overload. Overload in the Mason acceleration coil. Ooh. There is another coil in part two, which, which you must pass to get to the bridge of the Rickenbacker. If you approach it, the same will happen been there. But I have conceived a way to avoid this. Proceed to engine cell B. There, there I will provide you the benefits of my omniscience. Okay. Uh, right, so we obviously can't go down there. That looks like it just falls out into space. Um, 
But those things are floating there and we're still fine. So this must be some sort of force field holding everything in place. But there's a button. Uh, I hope I don't die if I push this. Let's see. Ah, okay. It's a bridge. That's good. That ladder is a bit random over there. I mean, uh, it's not like you can get to it. Um, people, I can't. I can't jump across that. What are you doing here? But those Gibbs are chilling out down there. I don't know if I can walk on that. I, d I don't want to test it. Uh, and just now I die because I haven't I haven't saved anything but this bridge is a bit stuck wake up wake up no and there's one there's one on that side as well um, maybe we need to activate it from many different angles ah we're over I need side hypos. Um, sensitive electronic equipment. A ladder that goes. Well, oh, just up here. Let's see what we've got up here. Okay, there is a. There's some nanites over there. And. There's another one of those rifles, those plasma cannons, and a body. But uh, I, can't, I can't make that jump, even if I wanted to. And this ladder is broken, so we can't get up onto there. But, I oh know those are flammable. They're not uh, storage containers. Well, I guess that's that up here. Um. Up here, I guess. See something has clawed its clawed through the ladder here and broken it. Uh, that sounds like a an assassin. There he is. Good night. Is another egg. Okay. No cameras. That I can see. Oh. What the hell? Another PDA. What was I was I electrocuted or something? Oh. Oh. What a bitch. Shooting me through a gap in the door. Honestly. Ow. Again. Yo, well, there's not much in here. A busted up camera. two of them taken down okay uh, let's listen to these to these PDAs and then <coughs> uh, sh shall we shall we call this an episode over here um, it seems like it's we actually have further to go than than initially anticipated so so I'm gonna have to split this up as with all the others in order to reverse the gravitronic generators I need to get into the cell B in order to get into the nacelle, I need my damn access card. But I left it on the opposite side of the hull breach. Wait a minute. If I can extend the auxiliary support struts, I could. If they've survived the blast, that is. But I've been into nacelle B. Nacelle. For some reason, they couldn't get a hold of my mind the way they could the rest. So when I found the remains of the data wafer near the crater back on Tau Ceti, I didn't say a word. I just slipped it into my belt and thought... Dr. Polito will know what to do with this. Okay. Okay, so those are all the... 
all the uh, PDAs. You see, we're up here on deck seven, uh, Rickenbacker. So we've been through, we've been through now six decks. Now on to deck seven. Uh, I'm sure there can't be much more to, to all this. Um, if you look at the the sign here, it did say we come up to level two. So it's not like uh, individual levels like the it was on the Von Braun. So maybe it's not as big as uh, as I hope it is. Not rather, and uh, but we'll we'll get to seeing more of that uh, when we come back for the next episode. Uh, but for now, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying it so far, uh, and uh, please do subscribe and comment. Thanks. Cheers.